no intro it's owl crate time it's the most exciting day of the week they're the month more like and i always say every time owl crate announces a box that i like the idea of i said i'm not gonna buy it because the shipping to the uk is as much as the box itself and i think no not gonna do it but this time i know this book is gonna be the drowned woods by emily lloyd jones ever since they announced the theme because i've been obsessed with this book <laughs> ever since emily lloyd jones announced it and i everything about this book i know i know everything so i know that this book is in this box and i want this box for the book i've read the arc of the book loved it and also i want the owl crate version of the box because i know probably two other book boxes have done this book i think for last month this is the august steeped in folklore box other companies have done the box already but this will definitely have the us cover that will match my um the bone houses cover and if it doesn't i might cry on camera so this is this is beautiful this is a little card that has everything in it and also the other reason i wasn't going to order this box i did order it and then they announced that this box is going to have one of the lord of the rings bowls in which i don't collect because i haven't got the other ones and i haven't had any interest in lord of the rings and it's also going to have tea in which is very appropriate for a different emily lloyd jones box um, if it was Unseen Magic, which has tea in it. But I think they saw the word steeped and thought, yes, tea. So I was going to try and cancel this box because I don't want tea or the bowl. And I didn't end up like buying a box and not wanting all the items. But I emailed them and they'd already done the shipping straight away. And I have it now. Okay, that feels... I'm going to stop reading that. That feels a bit spoilery. So we open it up. We are in... We're in crinkly paper hell. The first thing I see, I believe, is this little collectible ceramic bowl. This is the Lord of the Rings bowl then. Let's crack her open because I've seen pictures of them and they do look very pretty. I'm just not a Lord of the Rings enthusiast so the impact of this is like lost on me. Oh, it's bubble wrapped. A bubble wrap bag. This is, this is quite cute. Again, not many comments. There's probably, I won't have a lot of comments on a lot of things in this box I bought exclusively for the book. But yeah, it's a cute bowl. Okay, the next thing I see is, what is this? What is this? Let's have a look. Um, this might be the Uprooted Inspired Tapestry designed by Eden Cook. I think I've seen, I might have it Uprooted on my TBR, but again, um, have not interacted enough of it to know what it's about. But that's all that feels nice. I got another tapestry with the. It was a Greek mythology box that had Law by Alexandra Brackelin. So, <laughs> I d and that, I think that one also had tea in, so I thought like I can get double items, but that's because I don't buy the boxes often enough to judge. There once was a song in this forest. I have a thing for forests, so I enjoy this. This is going to need the iron. But I will treasure this. This is very cute and it is specifically for a fandom but it feels pretty it feels pretty neutral to me. I enjoy this. I'm rummaging through the crinkle paper. What is this? This is the this is such a cute little envelope. This is the literary luggage and our pin which I believe is meant to be for Fable um, from Hey Atlas Creative. Yes, it is. It was a fable. I read fable. I enjoyed fable. But I think I need to read it again because I feel like I should have enjoyed it more than I did. I'm ripping this open, by the way. I don't know why I'm trying to speed run this unboxing. I'm just very excited for this book and I know it's right at the bottom. This. Oh, this is very cute. I love this. And I've seen some of the other pin designs for this. This is a series of pins. This is this what the pins for this year are. But I've seen their other things for this and I think these are very cute. I, I would love these regardless of what fandom they are, just because they are so cute, so shiny, so pretty. And I do have a thing for pirates. Okay, rummaging. Okay, we have Riddle Tea Shop, we have tea. Or it might have been, I think I also, the two owl coat boxes I got were the Law one, Alexander Bracken Greek Mythology, and I got the Scorpio Race Anniversary box, which I think is the one that had tea in. This is Stephen Folklore. Gluten free, nut free, and dairy free. A decaf tea. Honeybush tea, apple pieces, decaf, salon tea, cocoa nib, cinnamon, natural vanilla flavour, natural chestnut flavour, marigold flowers, and natural vanilla flavour. So, like, 
I love the packaging for this as well, but not a tea person. I'm a terrible British person because I'm, I'm just not a tea person, but this is very cute. We have just six Crimson Cranes. I've just got a glimpse of the book. Can confirm for the glimpse I see. It is the US cover. It's just the same colour scheme as the Owl Crate Bone Houses, so it's white with gold. Unlike the original cover, which is blue with gold, and then the original Bone Houses was black with gold. This is Six Crimson Cranes. Stationery. I thought it was a stationery of fate, it doesn't. It says, to this day, cranes carry the strands of our fate. That's very cool. This is on my TBR. It's just one of the ones that I haven't got around to yet because I'm prioritising um, arcs and also my TBR that I can find on the library ebook app. And this is not one of them. I will request it, but I've got a mountain of other things to get through first. So this is subscription Cranes. This is an origami kit. Folding instructions for cranes, but feel free to get creative for your own origami pieces. Again, I'm not an, or an origami. I'm not an origami person, as my fine motor skills do not exist. But this is very cute. I can see the colours of the paper here. Enjoy. This is very sweet. Again, probably will give to a friend. But I do think this is a very fun, on theme, on brand item for this box. What is this? What are you? What are you? tapestry enamel zipper pull designed in collaboration with the Picty witch and joan of art that's a good shop name um the wolf and the woodsman inspired again another thing on my tbr let's gently open you an enamel zipper pull i've not heard of that before will you tell me a story wolf girl um I don't know enough about this book to know what that reference is. It's giving me wolf. Oh, it's got that's very that's kind of that's I was gonna say that's very cute. That's that's cute. I don't know what I was gonna say. It gives me Twilight or like Shiver by Maggie Steve Otter vibes. I like it. I probably wouldn't use it as like a zipper pull because I'm scared of breaking things. I open my zippers very aggressively, but I'll use it for something. I'll clip it on somewhere. But I would say, do kind of wish it was a pin, but it's double-sided. That makes it so much more exciting. Final item, the book. We avert our We're not averting our gaze. I like it. It hasn't got... So my beef with Owl Crate is when they say they're doing exclusive covers, but they just changed the background. They did it for pretty much every book they've done. So for Law they changed the colour from white to black. For Among the Beasts and Briars, they changed the colour from white to black. For the Bone Houses, they changed the colour from black to white. So I say I don't like exclusive editions where they just change the colour, because this isn't an exclusive cover, it's just a recoloured cover to me. It feels lazy. I think this is meant to have, let's read, reversible dust jacket art, and beneath the jacket it has two exclusive full designs. Okay, that makes it more worthwhile. I do love reversible jacket art. I do love foiled covers, but that does not fully erase my rage at they just changed the colour of the cover and call it an exclusive cover. Okay, so you can see the original cover here and how the Owl Crate one is the same thing, but with a different colour, which I hate. Also, yeah, I did read an archivist, so I haven't seen a physical book. And I'm just gonna say, I'm obsessed with this font. I don't know what it is. I'm going through my book designing era again and the end papers. Forget the font. I'm in love. <laughs> also, another thing I love about this book is that the author did a pre-order campaign ahead of time. So you could send her your like mailing info and where you peeled the book and she would send you like a little character art postcard and two bookmarks which is so cute and I love it. I think it's meant to be a US exclusive because shipping costs but I managed to get myself one because I'm a suck up. So obsessed with this author, obsessed with this book and okay next I'm trying to oh my god. Okay back end papers are the same thing but is it flipped? Yeah same thing but flipped. Look at her. The ocean was immortal and patient, it sure was. And this on the back. Slight annoyance that it's not 
like centered to the actual book because it's black stripes here but the bone houses also has this black stripe so i appreciate that they match but it's not central it's fine it's fine it's beautiful i'm gonna show you this properly i love this i love the illumicrate or the fairy loop one a bit more because i love that artist a lot more but i do love this and this is a very key scene from the book a very pivotal defining moment if you will love this i'm going actually i'm gonna leave it open clean to show i need to show my beloved friend what this book looks like and then we can comment together on oh i'm going a bit shiny then we can judge together on if our create exclusive covers where they just change the color counts as an exclusive cover because i don't think it does i love this book i bought the box for the book and I would have just bought the book from Alcrate anyway if that was an option and still would have had to pay £30 shipping costs. So I can't fairly rate this box as I am not put in many of the panels where the items are included and also I'm just not a tea person. I do wish there were some more fandom neutral items because with a theme like steeped in folklore you can do a lot more and also I want things with this design on. I'm obsessed with that. So I would love fandom neutral items but I will try and get into these books and see if I can appreciate the items more. And in the future, I will refrain from buying owl crate boxes where they list the books included and I don't like them or know them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.